So welcome back to my channel Wanton Beast. How is it going? It's me Farmer Wester and today people will be showing you how you can get exponent function using for loop in Python. So what is an exponent function? An exponent function is basically going to allow us to take a number and raise it to a specific power. Alright? So when we're talking about this, we are basically want to print out uh, power number right so we can just simply do it like this right but over here our work is not to do that but our work is to get it done using for loop right so yeah we can get the output easily but yeah let's do it in a for in a more much more better way using for loop so how are we going to do this so as we know exponent function is a function so we're just gonna start with def very easy and then we're just gonna move on to giving the function a name so what name can we give this function to so let's say we can give this uh, function a name known as race uh, to power all right let's say this is the name of the function we're giving it then we're gonna put a parameter inside the name of the function so it is let's say going to be um, base and let's say it's going to and like this base is our base number and then we're gonna have a power number so let's say it's power so power is the power number and our base over here which we know is known as the base number so yeah we're just gonna give a colon that's how functions are done then just click on enter and we're just gonna go to the second line now we have we're going to just produce it and give it a uh, like, like use a variable over here and we're gonna type in a variable let's say we can give out any variable so I'm just giving out results all right and then I'm just gonna click on equals to and I'm gonna write one all right now remember this variable result equals to one actually shouldn't be changed because this is how you want to execute your way of doing the using the exponent function so don't actually just re, you uh, just remove it use all always use one in the variable you can give the variable any name it can be result it can be i or it can be G academy anything for me i just give it result for you guys to understand it much better and then i'm just gonna give it a number give the variable a number so remember always it should be one all right Keep it one when you're using an exponent function so after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the second line and this time we're gonna move on with our for loop function so we're just gonna write in for and then we're just gonna give an index so like let's say write um, let's give the index name um, what can I give let's say result one all right this is the name of the index I'm giving then just click on in range of how work all right now let's give a colon so until now what do we do so first of all we give a function and then we give out give uh, give it a variable and then we, after coming into the for loop function we just give a name to the index after for what we're supposed to do and then in range of power like you know we're gonna certify a power right so it can be 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 5 there can be many powers so there will be a range of powers all right like first of all yeah 2 to the power 1 to the power 2 to the power 3 there will be a range of powers I will explain it much further on it will be clear to you if I just move on with the codes so we are just going to click on enter and we are just going to go on by clicking on result alright result this is the variable that we used before and then just write in re, um, result so we are just going to write in result and we are going to give it like we're gonna of course if you want to give it a power you have to multiply it right so result multiplied by base number 
not yeah base all right so from here let me explain to you so basically over here we have our function right and then we just give it our our function a very like we just give a variable over here which is one all right and over here we have a for loop function which is for result one in range power so as i said will power will have a range of numbers to it so how is that getting executed is that over here this result that you're seeing over here is basically one all right or you can say the result you're seeing over here like this is the variable we have right and uh, this variable is one so over here result is one and the base number is let's say two all right so two first of all will get multiplied with one all right and after two gets multiplied with one the value of result will be one sorry the value of if you are uh, if you are multiplying two to the power of one it will be two right and then the value of result will change and become two so to like to change it we're just going to give another function which name is return so for the project to do is let me just give you a hint you just gonna click on enter just click on backspace and just type down return result all right so now let me explain you further on so basically what we did is over here this is the variable that we had result now equals to result what is the value of result it's one right and one will uh, and uh, one will basically be and one will basically be the uh, number of the results number and then we have into base which means if the base is two then that what will the answer like two is two into one it's two right so the, re the value of the the num the value that the result will carry carry after that will be two, so we know the result of the, the like the num the value that result is carrying is two, and then it's gonna move on to the another uh, next line of code which is return result. So it's simply going to return result to us, but if it goes far, return result to us, but it will again move on to our code like if you're just giving the power let's say the base number is two but the result but the power that we have over here is not two all right it's not two let's say it's now sorry the power is not one the power is let's say three so what it's gonna do is after the base is the, after he knows the base is two is going to move on to the result which is at this moment the result is result has become 2 right so it's going to so 2 is 2 into 2 will be 4 right so result the value of result will be 4 and it's going to return result to us but again it's going to see that we have we didn't want we wanted the value of result like yeah 3 right the power was 3 so making it the power making it a, uh, making the result 2 will not um, or 4 will not making the power 2 or 3 will not work so simply it's going to turn again and it's going to make base result and it's going to go on again if that makes sense no worries um, i'm going to i'm going to explain you one more time like we still have more code to go let's say now what we're going to do is it's going to write print and we're just gonna, just gonna say raise to power and we're just gonna give in um, it a base gonna give it a base number so what's our base number let's say our base number is 2 to the power 3 just let's just do the work it's 8 right we all know 2 to the power of 3 is 8 but how did this thing got executed let me go through this for the last time and let's make it really clear to you guys so to make it clear 
let's go from the first off and this time it will be really clear guys I actually you guys this thing so we started with def at this exponent function we use def raised to power and then we give it a parameter like we give it the function a name which is raised to power and then we give it a base number and a power number which is really what we should do right then we give a colon nonetheless then we move on moved on to the second line which is result equals to one one thing I I should make you guys clear about this when you're using an exponent function to like when you're using an exponent function for instance when you're using exponent function in for loop at that time always keep the value over here one don't change this don't just don't change it then what we're gonna do is for result one so we're just gonna go on with the function of for loop so let's say this is this can be any name all right I'm just giving it a name of result one it's a index but you can give more names like I or Academy or any other name that you want to give so yeah so for result one in range of power in range of power means our power will have many ranges like for example I have I have three as the power right over here I have three as the power but we are searching for but what over here is happening is that power will have a range which means at this moment power is one is gonna range to two then three so when the power is three is gonna give us the uh, it, it's gonna give us the answer right the right answer so to make it much more clear let's make the power five so first of all the power is one it then the power will again range up from one to look as it, the power as the power we have over is five so power will power has a range of zero to four in for loop right so basically in over here we have in this next line of code so as i said power has a range from zero to uh, four right so over here we have result right we have the variable result and result is equals to one right so when we are giving equals to we all know that after giving equals to, we are give result and we know that result is equals to one so one into base number so what's the base number it's two so let's repeat it again to make it clear one into two so if the power was one all right what do you think what output would we had got we had got two right so two into one we got two so the value of result which was before one all right which was before one will become two all right after executing that code our python program is gonna go to the next line it's gonna see return result all right so it's gonna see okay i have to return the answer to the client but again it's gonna move on to the next line of code which is raised to power two is two like over here we have two is to one because as we have two so let's say if we had two is to two then Python is gonna see okay they have wanted the power to be 2 so we have just multiplied the base number with uh, so we have just multiplied the base number with 2 so sorry we have just multiplied the base number with 1 so now we need to give we need to like as the value of the like what I'm trying to say is look after the return statement has occurred all right it's gonna know that the value of result is two but uh, we want the power to two so it's gonna move on to the second next line and it's gonna say okay they want two to be the power so we cannot stop at 
multiplying it with, it with 1 you have to stop at multiplying it with 2 so next what is gonna do is it's gonna multiply result with result is gonna give is gonna give return the value of result as 2 like it will, the result the value of result will become 2 instead of 1 and then it's gonna again go out through this function of for loop and it's gonna make result all right it's gonna make result 2 and it's gonna input the value of result as 2 over here and as we know the base number we have is 2 so 2 twos are 4 and then it's gonna go out it's gonna say return result and it's gonna return the result to us as 4 and it's gonna come back to the next line of code which is our print code and it, when it will see that our print code is 2 uh, in our print code we have the power as 2 so it will understand that the program will understand it's uh, that its job is done it don't need to code anymore at this moment so it's just gonna give out the output as 4 because 2 into 2 is 4 so if we just uh, let's give our give us another example let's say it's 3 so it becomes 8 because every time we increase the power and the re and the variable is 1 every time the result is going up from 1 then it goes up to 2 then it goes up to 3 so until the result becomes th uh, 3 the result doesn't stop looping all right so that's what this for looping doing for us the for loop is continuously making the result loop for us until we get the power 3 to be executed into our program all right so after the given power that we give the the given power that we give the program is done after that our program is satisfied and is gonna give us the value out so guys with that I hope what I said to you guys is cleared out and if you guys want more videos on Python do let me know I'm always there to help you guys out and if you guys have any query any questions or you guys didn't understand a single a normal single thing any single thing that you didn't understand please let me know down in the comments below I'll be totally online to reply to you guys any moment so with that guys don't forget to subscribe our channel also don't forget to drop a like if it was good for you and also hit the bell notification button because you're gonna need this for, for your future videos because guys in our channel we don't post any clickbaits if you have been a subscriber of our channel from the first you know that we as one to we don't post any clickbait videos so to make it clear subscribe to us let us know what more videos you want us to make and we'll get on to it with that guys have a nice day peace